All right. It's like something changed a lot of my life. Like I found um, something that I have been looking for a long time. It's a value. And after I being a skydiver and the first Saudi female skydiver, this is really like a huge step in my life. Like it motivates me. Now, I really have a goal. I have a passion to do something um, with my sport and for my country, even for the women in, in Saudi Arabia. Hello and welcome to the Me Man Show. We are coming to you from our studios in Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And today we have with us the first woman in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to obtain a skydiving license, Miss Razan Al Ajmi. Thank you so much for being on the show. Um, thank you for you for inviting me. Um, I'm so excited for this, by the way. Yeah, yeah. well, we're excited to have <laughs> yeah. you because we, we know you travel the world skydiving. It was hard to get, get you in, in the studio, and, <laughs> yeah, and, I'm, and I'm glad we, we made this happen for you. <laughs> thank you for you. And, and you're here. So two years ago, you became the first woman to obtain a skydiving, a skydiving license. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Uh, well, let's, let's just start from the beginning. I okay. mean, like... For the skydiving means a lot in my life. All right. Like, um, if you just say skydiving, it's not only about the gear up and going to the plane, jumping from the plane, flying in the sky. It's for me, it's something else. All right. It's like something changed a lot of my life. Like I found um, something that I have been looking for a long time. It's a value. And after I being a skydiver and the first Saudi female skydiver, this is really like a huge step in my life. Like it motivates me. Now, I really have a goal. I have a passion to do something um, with my sport and for my country, even for the women in, in Saudi Arabia. Okay. And uh, so when you said it's, it's something personal and close to you, mm -hmm. what you know attracted you to it but what drew skydiving and made it feel like something personal to you um actually being a skydiver wasn't planned okay um i mean the first time i tried the skydiving or jumping from the plane it just was for trying all right like i just found the chance to try it mm -hmm. and they say okay i will go to try it like i don't know what will happen next but i will go to try it all right after the first jump and when i just landed i went to my instructor i say hey man i want to be skydiver yeah, i want this the adrenaline rush yeah just it's like in. say I, I want this he said okay let's do more jumps okay and from that from that time um i really decide to make my way in skydiving mm -hmm. and it wasn't an easy decision because skydiving is a dangerous sport okay. and to jump from the plane and being in the sky like flying in like with a small mistake yeah free fall yeah it's like the danger could happen with a small mistake as well mm -hmm. but the the like the challenge so yourself the feeling flying in the sky um all these things like i really need it i want in my life i want to I want to continue to do this in my life. Okay. The other thing is the passion. I found my passion. All right. I mean, it's not easy to find your passion in the life. Mm -hmm. So when I find it in the skydiving, I feel now I have something in my life to do. All right. So this is why I really like skydiving and I want to jump all my life. Okay. So yeah. what, what made it a passion though? Like how, what part of that process were you like, yes, uh, this is something I love. <clears throat> um let's say it's like the freedom idea okay because i always like being i have my freedom to do what i want to do like in my life and the idea of flying in the sky and you just fly there is no rules nothing except the safety rules and okay. you can do everything in the sky this is what i like it in the skydiving i just like go out from the plane and being in the sky flying do like move my body and do whatever I want to do. Okay. So this is like I really what I wanted in my life, and this affects even in like my personality, my social life, mm -hmm. my practical practical life, and it taught me a lot. All right. How to if you want something, something is not easy, 
but in the same time you can do your best your best to make it um like to find my passion in a sport is not exist in my home and okay. for four years and traveling like everywhere just to jump is not an easy thing sometimes i need to travel for three days in the plane just to go to somewhere to get training or to have this coach for some skills or for the competition it wasn't easy All right. but with the enjoying with this passion and to achieve my goals and to find what i really wanted mm -hmm. this is i think what i really okay. uh, like it in the skydiving or what i found it in the skydiving sports all right yeah and, and, and the first time that you went skydiving who, who who approached you and like how did it happen tell us uh, tell us the story <laughs> well um actually there was like a sky i was like using my phone Okay. and sitting with my phone and i saw an instagram post that they are jumping in saudi arabia all right I say okay they are jumping but then i text that person i say can i come and try okay uh, he said yeah it's just like do you know what is the sky diving mm -hmm. i just like had it as like a small knowledge about the sky diving okay i say yes it's like just like jumping with the instructor or something like this he, he then said okay so i will text you again and i will tell you the dates then you can come and try if you don't like it you can just back to your home or go back home yeah yeah, yeah. i then i said okay i will come to try then like one day he called me and he said okay uh we have like a week to come and to get to training for the skydiving okay if you want to join just give us the details and come then i was super excited because i always like to try new things mm -hmm. and as i told you before that i'm always looking for something to find my passion then i went to that event or to that camp um like it was two days it's like a ground school the mm -hmm. telling us about everything about the skydiving yeah it was like a two-day boot camp uh, yeah, yeah it's like we is like the like you how to use the parachute if something happened how you make the plan b what's what you will do in the exit from the plane mm -hmm. like everything from from the ground to the sky okay um then on that day i wake up like the same day that i will do the jump i wake up for at 5 a.m mm -hmm. and the jump will be at 8 a.m okay then i was waiting the instructor on the car that's because i will go with him to do the jump because um the the way we the place that we sitting is different about the place that we do the jump all right um so i was waiting him for two hours like i'm just like walking and watching what is the skydiving videos youtube and these things um then he came we went to that place uh he gave me the rig to wear the parachute the bag and the helmet and he gave me uh the equipment we went to the plane all right uh it was like a nice view that i saw the plane okay i will go to jump from that plane okay we just walked and we inside the plane I, actually in the first jump i wasn't afraid i wasn't scared because i don't understand what will happen mm -hmm. i don't i don't have the awareness about what will happen in, in the sky and or after jumping so the first thing that i feel it when i just go out from the plane to the sky is the wind it really was strong wind because I just like feel it in my in my face. Yeah. So this is the, the only thing that I really rem remember it like for like four years ago from my first jump. Mm -hmm. And the other like time I just feel that I'm in the sky, but what I'm doing or what happened, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I really don't know what exactly happened. So even if you don't have any flash, flashbacks No, no, I don't even remember what's yeah. like my hand, is it? What my legs? I don't You don't remember, remember of anything. Yeah, when I just landed and we watched the video, I saw, okay, I did this, yeah. I did this. Did you see any funny facial features? Yeah, yeah, it was like my face like this yeah, like and I'm, I'm like your looking. Your cheeks going. Blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm looking, what is my instructor? Does he catch me? Like It's yeah. like... Yeah, yeah, it's like a lot of things in my mind, um, but it was really interesting thing for me because, okay. because I mean, like, I need to understand like my body or my feelings, what happened in the sky. 
So I just went to my instructor. I say, please, I want to do more jumps and I want to be skydiver. Then he made me the plan to do like what we have the jumps and what the yeah. requirements for the jumps and how to get the license and these things. Okay. And from the fourth or the fifth jump, I started being scared. <laughs> From the fourth or fifth jump. Yeah. Before that, you, you, you no, weren't scared? No, because I, I don't understand what will happen. I, still, okay. my mind didn't S understand what's, what's the next. It's not comprehending. Yes. Your because, brain is like saying, yeah, you land on pillows. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like strange thing that, okay, um, it's like first time in my life, and mm -hmm. but I didn't understand totally, like have the knowledge what will happen. All right. So from the fifth and the fourth, I start understanding and know what's, uh, what is the skydiving and what jumping in the sky. Mm -hmm. So I, I became really scared. Okay. And you've been doing this for, I mean, so the, the training and everything you've been doing for four years. Yes. And then you obtained your license two years ago. Um, why why the two-year gap? Or is it does it take that long to train? Or was this uh, like a fast-track approach? Or? No, actually the skydiving license, it, it's like categories. Okay. Because it's a start from A to yeah. C. And if you want to be official skydiver, you have to take a license. Right. And this requires um, 25 jumps. And each jumps, there is a requirement for each jump. Okay. So to have this license, you have to pass all these jumps and all these requirements. Mm -hmm. Then you go by license B, license C. So for me, uh, when I just talk the license A and I can jump everywhere. So I focus on my... Because to take a license, it doesn't mean that you improve your skills. You can take a license just with the number of the jumps and like few things. Yeah. But to improve your skills, to be a professional, like flying, a professional skydiver, um, I was enough with this license and I focus on like um, improve my flying style and flying skills because I have a goal to go to the uh, world competitions I want to take the champion uh, name. I want to be the first Saudi female even, like go yeah. to the world competitions because this competition, like it's happened every year and it's not easy to go in this competition. You have to mm -hmm. be really in a, in a high level, uh, uh, like uh, in flying. So this is my, my goal. I want to be, to go to this uh, competition. Yeah. Did you yeah. compete in anything yet? Yes. Uh, I competed in two, two competitions in, in GCC. One was in Bahrain All right. and the other one was in, in Dubai. Okay. But I always have a training camp okay. around the world in Spain, Russia, France, and China. And this. All right. Yeah. And and we'll, next week I will have a competition. You'll have well. another competition. <laughs> yes. And where yeah. is that one? It will be in Kuwait. In Kuwait. Yeah. All right. Well, that sounds good. I yeah. mean, wish you luck on that one. <laughs> yeah. Of course. So what's, what's plan B? One would assume if you skydive, there's only a plan A. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you just said plan B, so I need to know what plan B is. Um, a plan B that it's like uh, the basic, it, actually I cannot call it a plan B because it's a basic thing. You yeah. have to do it. If this didn't happen, you have to do this one. All right. It's, there is no another option. Okay. Yes, because I, this is, it costs your life. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> the, like we have the parachute, I mean the rig, and in that rig we have two parachutes, one mm -hmm. the main. And the other is like for the emergency. The emergency parachute. Yes. So if um, like to if something happened, like when I opened the parachute and something happened with the main. Okay. I just have two seconds to decide mm -hmm. to save my life right. or just like lose your life. Or perish. Yes. So in this, the plan B is like just like to cut away the, the main parachute and just push or pull, sorry, the the uh, emergency parachute okay. and this is the plan b and this is the pacing thing like we have to do it every day like imagine that until now i'm in the plane i'm wearing my parachute all right i have to practice this like from the takeoff till the run jump it takes like 20 minutes mm -hmm. so during this 20 minutes i keep practicing this and this okay this is, is like to save my life if something happened with my ma men like parachute your mind doesn't have time to think you only have two seconds to yeah, figure yeah. out what it's you're like do. it's like yeah it could be three seconds but you have to save your life okay so with this movements like your mind know what will happen so okay. sometimes you will make it directly like this then 
All right. Okay. So when you're in, when you're in these, I mean, not in those situations, but like when you're jumping in general and you take into consideration all these factors that uh-huh. you just mentioned and the adrenaline rush and everything, what what kind of sensations and emotions do you go through that you can describe to us? Uh, yes. Actually, to to f- understand this like um, feeling during the fly, you cannot have it in the beginning. You need to improve yourself to feel the enjoyment in the flying. All right. So now I really enjoy with the flying. It's like, you know, just jumping in the sky, flying, uh, use the wind to fly, use the wind to move your body to understand uh, the wind like is strong. So I need to do this movement. It's like freedom. Mm-hmm. It's like flying. Sometimes I, f- I fly like between the clouds. Okay. And I, I didn't see anything. It's like nothing I can see, mm-hmm. but I feel the enjoyment because I'm flying. Right. I, I feel it. It's okay. something that you feel. It's something in your mind. It's like skydiving, I always say this, is mentality. Mm-hmm. If you understand what is a skydiving, it will like, uh, you really like, I can see that you are really skydiver. Because as I told you also before, like it's not about just put the rig and go to the plane and jumping. Yeah. Like, if I do the jump, anyone can it's do not the what jump. It, it's not what everybody yes, sees in music not, it, videos. Yes, and, yes. It's it's like mentality thing. You have really to understand your body in the wind. Right. How is like, even I have a strong wind, how can I deal with this strong yeah. wind? If I have like not strong wind, how can I deal with this wind? All right. It's like if I have my, like my right, right hand doesn't work with the strong wind, so I will use my left hand. And this also like give me one idea about the life. Always find another way. If this way doesn't work with you, so that means there is another way. Okay. We use this in the flying as well. If this side doesn't work with me, so I will use the other side. If this mm. leg doesn't work with me, I will use my hand. I All will right. use my head. So this is this is the skydiving gave me, and I it's really affects it also in, in my life. Okay. It made that, you fluid and adaptive. Yes. You'd it's, say? Yes. <laughs> you have a plan A, B, C, D. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's always like, always find a way. You y- right. you have a chance and you have uh, the idea, you have the knowledge. So use this knowledge. Use this opportunity in your life to find what you really want it. All right. Okay. And um, what are your goals for the development of freestyle skydiving here in the kingdom? Um to have the passion in a sport and is not exist in your country on your home is okay. not an easy thing. Mm-hmm. Is to travel for like, I like traveling. Okay. But sometimes I need to do this in my country, in my okay. home. I want to jump every day. I want to fly every day. Mm-hmm. I don't need like just to have a vocation or to travel or I like even I want to see the beauty of the land for, for, for my country from the sky. Okay. Sometimes we enjoy with the view. When I will say, I, I see the, the ground, I see the view. I want to see this from like in the sky in, in Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. So like even these things give me that if I don't have something in, in my place or my home, it doesn't mean that um, it's like an excuse or okay. to stop me or like I say, okay, I don't have it. So why, why I will like do it? So it's not here. So with this, like with all these challenges, with all these things, I said, okay, if I, if I don't have it in my home, why I don't make it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I, I have the knowledge. I have the experience. I know how to do. So what is the reason that I don't make it? So my goal now is like I talk steps and this and like alhamdulillah um, to have a skydiving school in my in Saudi Arabia. Okay. To be the first skydiving school. Right. Um, even I don't want to be just like in, in, in this like for the sky for the people in Saudi Arabia. I want mm-hmm. to be international school. I want okay. the people around the world coming here. I want to the skydiving school in Saudi to be the source of increasing the skydivers number in, in the world. Yeah. I want to have like international competitions. I want to see the people around the world coming to my, to Saudi Arabia or to my country to see the beauty of the land from the sky. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. And, and, and um, you know, in the attempts to, to do the school, have you uh, had seen some interest from, you know, locally here within Saudi Arabia, whether it's locals or expats or whoever is living in Saudi about for, joining this? Uh, for the skydiving? Yeah. Uh, fortunately, we don't have. 
All right. Yeah. Um, if you, if, I mean, have you tried uh, speaking to, let's say, the uh, Ministry of Sports? And the yeah, Olympics? I did. I did this yeah. one when I mentioned that I, I already took the steps and we, we like have the project studies and mm -hmm. soon also we have it in, in Al-Ula. Like, All right. To the jump. So uh, that's good. Like, even like this is like my aim also to... Mm -hmm. To make this skydiving sport like uh, all the people have the knowledge about all the people it. People have the knowledge. Have yes, expand, to know yeah. what is the skydiving sport and also it's a safe sport. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a dangerous. It's like one of the extreme sport, but in the mm -hmm. same time, is a safe is a safe sport yeah. because the the the, um, the parachute which I wear it to jump or like I have it is a system. It's okay. not about the bag and what the parachute is a system. If like something happened, I have like a small a small device in the bag. And if I did not open, it will be automatically opened. Okay. Yeah. So it's everything that I use it in uh, in my life. I, everything that I use it in the skydiving or the jump, it's like system. All right. That's interesting. And when you're not skydiving and, you know, putting your life on the line with, a, you know, practicing skydiving with plan A and no plan Bs and Cs, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do for fun? What do you do, what do, you do for in downtime? Like a normal... Human like day. a normal day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for a normal day, like uh, I like even like something like when this guy died, but I like keep like uh improving my like my body fitness or my body health. Okay. So to go to the gym, do some exercises because this is also helps me in the skydiving when right. I, I make the training. Um aside from sports, how about that? Uh is like about listening to music, okay, about cooking. Right. Uh, and just sometimes I need time to chill in my home. Yeah, of course, everyone yeah. does. So that's, that's what I was <laughs> yeah, asking. yeah, it's like, but like most of the time I like cooking. Yeah, yeah, because what? when I don't have time, I'm just like eat anything just okay. for. But if I have time, like I first think that okay, I will cook. What kind of music and food do you like? For the music, I like uh, the casual music. Yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah give yeah, me yeah. an artist's name. Uh, it's like about. Um, like for Arabic, Arabic music is like uh, Muhammad Abdu. Okay. And That's for, cliche. That yeah. So give, give me something. Okay. It doesn't have to be Arabic. It could be English. But give English me uh, is like, um, I don't know, but I like Disney song. You like Disney song? Yeah, yeah. So you I, like a whole new world. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Even like if I have time, like this is like uh, my favorite thing. Okay. If I have little time, I can spend my whole life mm -hmm. watch this. It's one piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Luffy One Piece is like the animation cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. I don't know why, but I like if I start watch like uh, start watching, I cannot stop. Okay. Yeah, it's like I spend hours watching it. So I was like, like okay, if I have something, I try to not watch it. <laughs> How many times have yeah. you seen? Uh, I didn't see it for like long time, yeah. but I really need time to watch the game, but. I see it many times. Yeah. Like, I think th this is the only cartoon that I keep watching. Okay, and food? Yeah. And food, I like eggs. Eggs? Yes. All kinds of eggs? Eggs, like eggs with uh, with bread and some cheese, some yeah. vegetables. And, like, this is my favorite uh, meal. Okay. Yeah. I and mean, you can't go wrong with eggs, right? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's yeah. a safe choice for yeah, yeah, someone when, practicing. Yeah, it's healthy it. and yeah. it's easy to cook and it's easy to eat as well. So <laughs> it's, like, the first choice. <laughs> All right. Uh, and before we wrap up this interview, every one of my guests has to give a personal message to, to the audience. What's yours? Uh, my message to the people, like, always try before make decisions. Yeah. Always try. If you have a chance, even a small chance, even if you have opportunity, just use them, take them, try. Um, work hard. The life is not easy. Nothing is easy. You cannot take your things like by easy way. Okay. Like what's come easy, go easy. Mm -hmm. So uh, just like always I say, try before you make decisions. All right. That's, that's, that's some good advice, some okay. solid advice. And I'd like you uh, to thank you again for coming to our studio before you, you travel for, you. for your next competitive endeavors. <laughs> and uh, before we wrap this interview up, I'm going to close with, I usually close with quotes, but I'm taking my quote this time. Okay. So my quote is, what you see and what you listen to is what you get, and what you haven't is much better yet. Tune in to the next episode of The Main Man Show. See you later. Mm -hmm.